Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a dynamic and event calendar in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this holiday and event calendar for multiple years. You can simply change the year from this drop down. Accordingly, the calendar will be changed. And you can input your event or holiday list here. Accordingly, it will highlight on the calendar also. And we have all 12 months here in the calendar. And this is a printable calendar. You can simply press Ctrl P to take the print of it. And you can see it is coming on single page. All right, friends. Now I will explain you how you can create this in Google Sheets. So let's start without delay. Here we have the list of the year which is coming in this drop down. So let's add a new sheet from here. Click on add sheet and this is sheet 4. We will create our calendar here. So first of all, let's select all range. Press Ctrl A and reduce the column bit. Let's say this bit and right click insert 26 column left. And now we will start our calendar from here. Here we will create for January. I'm putting here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday and select this range and use merge cells somewhere here. Let's select this range and use merge cells and select this range also use merge cells. Here I will put select year and we will put a year drop down here. So right click click on drop down in the criteria select from range and click here to select the range go to the year list and just select the list of the year click on ok now come to this sheet and here we have our drop down of the years so let's select here 2024 for now and we will quickly format this so select this range go to the fill color and fill black color here and take the white font and select this all range then go to the borders and take here this black border and this thickness click on all borders all right and here we will fill a gray color in the background so go to the fill color and let's select this color light gray too all right now for this w3 this one we can convert this w3 into a named range go to the data and click on named range and take only w3 of the seat 4 and create it as a selected year and done all right now here we can put the formula as concat and the value let's take here 1 slash 1 slash put the comma here and then take the second value as selected year this one and just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here date but this date is a text so we have to use here date value function date value and just close the bracket here so it will convert into a proper date now we can change the number format of this so let's go to the format number and take the custom format this one custom number format and just put here mm mm four times click on apply we can see here month name is appearing as January align this center okay now we will use here sequence function sequence and number of rows we will take six number of columns we will take seven start we will select this one because this is a date now and just close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here few dates so let's select this range again go to the custom number formats you can press the shortcut key as o and v and let's take here as dd apply now we will quickly format this so let's select this and let's take a dark color you can choose the background color from here so let's say i'm taking this one font color i'm taking white and make this bold here let's select this one and you can choose any other color from here so let's say i'm taking this color font i'm taking white and now select whole range and then go to the border choose a light border color let's say this gray color and all borders change the thickness this one thinner little bit and all borders go to the view so and uncheck the grid lines now 
quickly we will copy this and we will paste here then we will paste here copy these three again and let us paste them here and here and take here also all right now quickly we will do one thing this all for the jan month we will quickly change the month from here so the first is the month okay if your format is dm by then you will change this one because my system format is m d and y so i'm changing this one this is my month so i'm taking here two this is five now and similarly i'll take here three i will quickly change for the other month also i will take here four all right so we have changed all months we can increase the column bit slightly so now this calendar is looking good now let's cut this range and let's paste this from here and here we will create our holiday list so let's take here date column then next you can take the holiday or event and increase the size let's take this size and here also let's take this size now select this range till here we can go to the fill and alternating color and from here you can choose any color let's say i have taken this one click on done all right you can align this center properly so let's select it again and align it center and align it middle then you can add some border also let's take this color and click on all borders all right so we have a border also we can start entering the date for the holiday or event this is event for now i'm just copying these date let's copy these dates paste it as a value shift control and v now i will quickly make the changes in the sequence function so basically in place of b5 we should take here b5 minus b day and take here this date b5 and just use here plus 1 so we will get the actual dates so here you can see our month is starting from monday here okay let's select this all and quickly align this center and here align this middle okay so we will apply the same formula here in the other also paste and paste we can quickly copy this and paste here and here and here also all right if i change the year then you can see calendar is getting changed now the only thing is this calendar is showing the other month's dates also here so we will apply the conditional formatting here to highlight the holiday or event and to hide the other month's dates from here so we will use two formulas in the conditional formatting the first one to highlight the month from here and that will be we will use the formula in this way equal to month and we will select the month of this range v5 freeze is not equal to month of b7 and just close this hit the enter okay this formula we will use another formula we will use the equal to count if and we will select this range the dates range basically till the end let's say till here press f4 to freeze this comma we will count the current date so let's say here in this case this is b7 just close this so if it is greater than zero okay so let's remove the equal to from here so we will apply these two formulas for each month so let's select the first month range and go to the format conditional formatting or press alt o f then here you can see the range b7 to h12 is selected just select here custom formula is and put the formula here so let's select the first formula this month one copy this and equal to paste that formula here and then in the format let's take the fill as white and the font color also as white click on another rule and copy the second formula from here this one just copy this one and just delete the first formula press equal to and this time let's take this color and font color make sure is white 
click on done all right so here you can see the first month january month calendar is working perfectly if i change the year then it is working okay now similarly we will apply this condition formatting for all of the months i'll show you for one month again select this range click on add new rule go to the first formula copy this and select here custom formula is and equal to paste that formula now in place of b5 here we will take this range which is j5 okay let's take here j5 and in place of b7 we will take j7 j7 and here i will take white background fill and white font click on another rule and let's copy this count if function from here and paste it after equal to in place of b7 we will take j7 we will just change the reference according to the month's reference and then we will change the color also for highlighting the holiday and click on done we don't have any date in the fab to highlight put here let's say first fab then that is highlighted on the calendar you can see all right this one so quickly we will apply these formatting for all of 12 months and then i will show you all right so we have applied the conditional formatting in all the months now let's delete these formulas and you can put a header here whatever you want to put let's use the merge and center you can put here event calendar for 2024 and align this center middle and increase the size and take a background color let's say i'm taking this blue one change the font color white and make this bold all right friends so that is how you can create a dynamic event calendar in google sheet friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for watching.